Today, we discuss Miro. Today, I want to talk about the hellscape that is technical diagramming, right? Everybody's nodding their heads right now. Uh huh. And there is a potential solution that I want to share. There was one name that several people brought up. I did some digging, and it's kind of nuts how much this program Miro has for developers. I have to share this. It could potentially be a game changer for you. So my favorite part about Miro is that half the work is already done. Like right now, typically we spend hours starting diagrams from scratch, gathering information. You get buy-in from every team. Uh, you know, that's a lot of work to do. But Miro has a full set of integrations with the tools you're probably already using. And they also offer open APIs and SDKs for custom solutions for all those niche diagramming use cases we have to do, right? So the end result is the same, but it doesn't take forever. It's a massive, massive time saver. I'm transforming basic flowcharts and network architectures, and it all lives in one place. So are you using Miro? Have you used it? I want to hear. That's M-I-R-O dot com. Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. Ten bucks if Uncle Nino drops a pizza. <laughs> Why do you call him Uncle Nino? Hey, at Uncle Nino's, everyone's family. Right, Uncle Nino? Funny you should mention family, Star. I will remind you again, as this is a family establishment, we have a strict no crop top rule. Oh, come on. Amal Clooney wore a crop top to the UN the other day. Really? I mean, maybe. She could have, I think. No belly buttons. Hello, Uncle Nino's family pizza. Very fresh, very appropriate. Okay, girl, dish. There's nothing to dish. I was just, I don't know. I missed his call this morning and now I feel like he's mad at me or something weird. Haven't heard from him. Why, you forgot to mail him a s'more? <laughs> Star, I'm serious. It's just, ugh. I don't know. At camp, we saw each other every day. And now there's an entire country between us. Where there used to be only underwear. I just... <sighs> Levi's sensitive. It's only been a few months and I just feel like... <sighs> I don't know. We aren't even officially, officially official. Wow. That's serious. Hey, gossip girls. Customer. Maybe I'll FaceTime him after work. When our belly buttons are no longer in jail from a fascist pizza shop owner. Stop, please, a customer. I swear, you girls are trying to run this business into the ground. Right where it belongs. <laughs> and you running around talking about boys like you're Nina Simone or somebody. Who? Ah, oh, my don. Welcome to Nino's. How may I make your day saucier? Believe it when you say it. Sorry, Uncle Nino. Still choking on the lameness. What do you want? Uh, I... I thought... Isn't Emma working tonight? Why? I'm not good enough to get you an order of onion rings with extra hot mustard? No, I... Wait, that was amazing. How did you know that I... Boys are so easy. <sighs> Emma! Some nerdy Nick Jonas wannabe wants to flirt with you. <sighs> Girls like you are why I wet the bed until I was ten. Wow. Swear to God, Star, if you're pranking me again and it's that pervy cyclist who orders non-garlic garlic knots... Levi? Levi? <sighs> Le Levi, what are you doing here? Uh, hi. Surprise. Ah, drop him a pizza pie. So, this is my bedroom. Look... I called you earlier today when I was getting on the plane, but you didn't pick up. How was I supposed to know you were about to fly halfway across the country? Technically, it was the whole way across the country. Like, full coast to coast. Well, I didn't know. Do you not want me here? Of course I want you here, Levi. I just would have done more laundry, or straightened my hair, or covered up my jaw acne. I like your jaw acne. Please. Hey, you know, on the plane here... I saw a woman who reminded me so much of that weekend nurse at camp. 
Remember the one with the um, volcano sneezes? Achoo! 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 <laughs> My mom's gonna think you're allergic to the cats. Oh, I am totally allergic to the cats. But I took like three times the legal limit of Claritin on the way to the pizza shop, so I'm good. Unless that incessant humming is in my head, in which case I am not. It's the space heater. Never seen you in a sweater. What do you think? Hmm. I like the way it fits your torso. Ah, yes. All the girls say I've got the best torso in California. Hmm. But only in California. Yeah. Some guy in Nevada's got me beat. Killer torso. All abs. You're exactly the same in person. You're acting like we met on chat roulette, Em. I spent the whole summer sleeping in your cabin. Don't. Oh, come on. What? You think the camp director bugged your childhood bedroom? We're off campus. We can't get in trouble even if I shout about the time in Roller Rink when I made you... Levi! My mom is still downstairs. So, do I seem different? Apart from the jaw acne? Oh, shut up. You shut up. You shut up. <gasps> oh, are you serious? Pillow fight is on. <laughs> You're dead, dork. New Jersey has made you weak, Ems. These arms are noodles. I've got 10 pounds on you easy. Wait, what is this? Em, did you steal my favorite t-shirt? Oh my god, you thief. You totally stole this from my suitcase. Give it back. This is mine. Not anymore. I need it. You need it? Leave me alone. Whatever. I missed you, okay? I wanted to sleep with something that smelled like you. That smelled like me? <laughs> oh my god, you like me so much. Hey! You drifted off to sleep, snuggling your face into the ghost of my armpit. Seriously, shut up. Maybe I should leave a pair of my underwear so you can carry it around in your jacket pocket. Give it. <gasps> oh my god. I think we just broke your bed. And not in a good way. So, this is New Jersey, huh? Much less cheetah print than I would have imagined. Give it an hour. I'm sure someone's got a blanket in their car. You harlot. Is she talking to you? <gasps> Rude you would assume that. Pizza Boy Nikki. That's your new nickname. A full nine letters longer than my actual name. Cool. You remember Star? Ah, uh, yes, your chill, quiet friend. Ah, uh, yes, Levi, your insecure, goofy camp fling. I'm legitimately scared of her. Claws in, Star. So, are you guys, like, just legally allowed to chill in parks this late on the East Coast? <laughs> allowed? <laughs> what? In California, you can't be in parks after sunset. It's the rule. It's the rule. Since when are you a rule breaker? Oh, new Emma don't give a fuck. New Emma? Same Emma. You act like I'm such a nun. I broke a lot of rules this summer. Yeah, with me. It's 2021, Levi. Girls can be bad girls without their boyfriends. Star, shut up. Oh, <laughs> right. I forgot. You guys aren't officially official. Mm. You know, Derek looks kind of cold. Maybe you should go warm him up. Over there. As if I'm the one he wants... Oh my god, Levi, remember that time we woke up early and walked, like, three miles to try and get non-camp coffee? I just thought about that. It feels like she's trying to distract me. Ew. Don't try to be friends with me. It's weird. Star! Come smoke a cigarette with us! Devin stole a pack from her dad! Peace, losers. So, you're popular. <laughs> what are you talking about? You always said you were, like, a nerd that you had your friends and your books, but this is like a popular kid's party, Emma. Think I saw a bottle of cassis over there. People just raid their parents' liquor cabinets. This is totally the type of party I wouldn't have been invited to back home. So, it's just a party, Levi. It's not a big deal. I thought you were like me. Thought you hated your town and hated high school and camp was like the one place where everything was good. It was, or it used to be. I don't know, this year I just get invited to stuff more. And drink more. Do you have a problem with me drinking? No, no, I just... You're different. That's it. Not bad. Different. Just different. You're more confident or something. I can barely even picture you with your whistle. 
Would it have made you feel better if I brought it here? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> can't we just have fun? Different is good. We can't stay bug spray covered, sun kissed campers forever, Levi. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you want to make waffles tonight? For dinner? Who are you? Shut up. I'm sorry, I just... Waffles for dinner, Emma, is really blowing my mind right now. At least something will be blown today. Even that! When did you get so good at clap packs? <laughs> Sometimes in the summer I just come hang out here and pretend like I'm choosing ice creams. Oh, hey Derek. Is that your boyfriend lurking over by the foreign grains? That's Levi. Huh. Seems kind of squirrely. Oh, no, he's actually... Damn it! Squirrely, yeah, I called it. <laughs> hey, guy. Uh, guy and girl, mono, a, womano. Levi. You just uh, flew in from California? And boy, are my arms tired. Nice, nice. I think my granddad told me that joke once while he was playing his Victrola. A man of excellent taste. And it seems good genes. What are you, 6'3"? I'm 6'4", four, four, but uh, my doctor says I'm still growing. Cool. Cool. Love that for you. So, Emma, what type of waffles are we getting? Personally, I really like the Stouffer's brand, but uh, honestly, you can't ever go wrong with a classic Eggo but might be a bit too sweet for a dinner palate. Wow, you're really going to give me your opinion on waffles? Thank you, but you know, I got the waffle thing. Frozen foods, that I know. If I need any advice on getting a girlfriend or, you know, growing or something, I'll text you. All right, uh, your energy is mad aggressive and unsettling, little squirrel. I'm going to go check out the AC at the deli. Sorry, Derek. Oh, good, Em. Hey, tell your mom those brownies she made the other week were so good. They they cured my concussion. Later. He calls you Em? I thought I was the only one that called you Em. What the hell? Okay, you are having a total, like, meltdown in the frozen foods aisle right now. I think you need to get a grip. I'm standing here holding stupid frozen waffles watching you flirt with football players. Whoa! I was not flirting with him. Well, I don't know. That belly button shirt seems to say otherwise. It's a crop top. Amal Clooney just wore one to the UN. She definitely didn't. (sighs) I've had it with this. You're being controlling and weird, and I didn't even know you were coming, okay? So you can't just pop into my life and judge it or get mad at me for hanging. (gasps) Did you just throw a box of frozen waffles at me? Maybe you're in the wrong aisle. Maybe you should be getting brownie mix so your mom can magically cure the whole football team. Walk home, Levi. But, Emma, wait, I don't know... It's called Google Maps. Emma? Emma, I've had five miles to think about what a jerk I am, okay? You're right, I was... I was being totally controlling and freaked out because I felt like you weren't... No, like... I wasn't cool enough for you here. Emma, I'm so sorry. Can you come talk to me? I just was being jealous and stupid. I'm out here, dummy. Where is out here? Did you build this yourself? Yeah, well, it took you like two hours to walk five miles. I have never claimed to be an athlete. Heard your apology. I meant every word. It's different than I thought it would be. But you keep thinking that's a bad thing. Do you know why I'm different, Levi? Is this a puberty thing? Dude, I went through puberty like six years ago. Were you not paying attention in health class? Definitely wasn't. It's you, Levi. Meeting you, being with you, it made me different. You made me different. All those times we broke the rules at camp, you showed me that. Don't think that I'm not in this. Because I am, and this is me showing you. By burning old Oprah magazines? Oh, is this like a metaphor about the time that's passed between us? Shut up. Long distance sucks. Always. There are entire movies about how much it sucks. But you and me? That doesn't suck. At all. 
And even if you were a total surprise in the middle of Spirit Week, I still... Getting to see your face without a screen is... Can I kiss you right now? No. Jill, I'm not done with my speech. Sorry, didn't even realize it was a whole speech. Would you shut up? Okay, sorry. Shutting up. I know long distance is hard, but I thought that maybe it would be a little easier if we were a little more officially, officially official. Would you, Levi, do you want to be my boyfriend? Because I really want to be your girlfriend. Oh my god, I'm so glad you kept talking. Is that a yes? It's a definitely. Good. (laughs) I'm happy about this decision. (laughs) (laughs) Emma, you are everything. So come over here and kiss me then. Don't have to tell me twice. Hey, is that a whistle in your pocket? (laughs) Or are you just really happy to see me? It is a whistle, actually. Still the girl you met at camp. Please blow it. Please. (laughs) Yes, counselor. Today we discuss Miro. Today I want to talk about the hellscape that is technical diagramming, right? Everybody's nodding their heads right now, uh uh-huh. And there is a potential solution that I want to share. There was one name that several people brought up. I did some digging, and it's kind of nuts how much this program Miro has for developers. I have to share this. It could potentially be a game changer for you. So my favorite part about Miro is that half the work is already done. Like right now, typically we spend hours starting diagrams from scratch, gathering information. You get buy-in from every team. Uh, You know, that's a lot of work to do. But Miro has a full set of integrations with the tools you're probably already using. And they also offer open APIs and SDKs for custom solutions for all those niche diagramming use cases we have to do, right? So the end result is the same, but it doesn't take forever. It's a massive, massive time saver. I'm transforming basic flowcharts and network architectures, and it all lives in one place. So are you using Miro? Have you used it? I want to hear. That's M-I-R-O dot com.